Now let's solve this problem using the same two blocks mentioned in the previous example. So same two blocks, A and B. So recall that um, block A was 12 kilograms and block B was 30 kilograms. Same two blocks in the previous example is suspended by a string on either side of the massless frictionless pulley. Find the acceleration of the two blocks and the tension in the string. So basically the same unknown in the previous example where we're gonna be looking, we're gonna be looking for the acceleration and the tension. However, um, here in the previous example, block B rested on a table and only block A was hanging. This time, none of them are resting on a table. Table, both are already hanging using or connected with a massless and frictionless uh, string over a massless and frictionless pulley. So first, we have to draw an FBD. So let's say that this is the ceiling where the pulley is hanged. So the pulley is here. And the string is here. Okay, so block A is on one side. And block B is on the other side. So because block B is heavier, so remember, mass of A is 12 kilograms. Mass of B is 30 kilograms. So we expect that the net force um, on B will be directed downward. So same convention, the net force on B will be using FB. And then the net force on A will be directed upward. That would be F of B. Same direction as the acceleration. So the acceleration will, of, on B would be downward and A will be upward. So the magnitude will be equal or the direction is um, is opposite. So let's go into the um, the FBD of each block. So for block A, because from these we're going to be coming up with the equations that we're going to use to solve for the acceleration and the tension on the cables. So let's start with block a. So for block A, we are going to draw block A. So for block A, the forces acting on it are, of course, the weight of A, FWA, which is equal to the mass of block A times the acceleration due to gravity. And the force directed upward, no? that would be the tension of the string. That's T. And the net force is directed upward. Okay, F A which is wrong here because this is supposed to be A. This is F of A. This is F of A, not F of B. So acceleration is directed upward, which means that the tension of the string here is greater than the weight of block A. So writing an equation for that, the net force on A, F of A, is equal to the tension of the string minus F W A. 
Okay, so f of a is equal to the mass of block a times the acceleration of block a. That's equal to t minus um, the mass of block a times the acceleration due to gravity. So therefore, tension is equal to mass of block A times the acceleration due to gravity plus the mass of block A, acceleration rather, of block A plus the mass of block A times the acceleration due to gravity. So we simply transfer this to the other side, so na plus. So let this be equation number one. And then for block B, um, the forces acting on it are still, you know, the force, I mean the weight, that's FWB, and the tension of the string directed upward. So this tension here is the same as the tension on block A because this is the same string. They are connected to each other by the same string. However, the direction of the uh, acceleration of, of block B would be directed downward. So that the net force is also directed downward. So because it's directed downward, it means that the weight of block B, the weight of block B is greater than the tension. So F B therefore is equal to the weight of block B minus the tension of the string. So net force of B, that's mass of B times acceleration is equal to the mass of B times the acceleration due to gravity minus T. And tension, therefore, is equal to the mass of block B times the acceleration due to gravity minus the mass of block B times the acceleration. So let this be equation number two. So both equations are equal to tension. So T is equal to T, so we can equate these two. So MAA plus MAG equals MBG minus MBA. So we're looking for the acceleration. So we group together the terms containing the acceleration. So we have here MAA. We're going to transfer this to the left side. So MAA plus MBA equals MBG minus MAG. So acceleration, we factor that out is equal to the mass of block A plus the mass of block B equals, we can also factor out acceleration due to gravity G, that's the mass of block B minus the mass of block A. So the acceleration of the two um, blocks is equal to G times the mass of block B minus the mass of block A divided by the mass of block A plus the mass of block B. So we can now substitute our values. That's 9.81 meters per second squared. The mass of block B is 30 kilograms minus the mass of block A is 12 kilograms divided by 30 kilograms plus 12 kilograms. So please solve the acceleration of the two blocks is equal to I hope you're solving there. The acceleration is equal to that's 9.81 times 30 minus 12 divided by 30 plus 12 kilograms. And that is equal to 4.20 meters per second squared. So that is our first answer. That's the answer to the first question. Acceleration of the two blocks is 4.20 meters per second squared. 
And now we will be looking for the tension. So to solve for the tension is either we use equation number one or equation number two. So let's say we want to use equation number one. Both are equally, um, the level of difficulty is equal. So you can use either of the two. So solve T. So T is equal to, you can always, for if we want to use equation number one, we can always factor out MA, no? So MA times A plus G, which is just equal also to M of B times G minus A. Let's try it will be able, if we'll be able to get the same values. So M of A, MA is 12 kilograms times 4.20 meters per second squared plus 9.81 meters per second squared. So can you compute that? Make sure that the value for the acceleration that you use is the exact value. Okay, so 12 times your value for the acceleration plus 9.81 meters per second squared. Your answer is that's 168.17 newtons. Let's try to see if we'll be able to get the same value if we use the second equation. So that's 30 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared minus 4.20 meters per second squared. Will we be able to get the same value for tension? So 30 times 9.81 minus A. And still we get 168.17 newtons. So the acceleration of the two blocks is 4.20 meters per second squared and the tension in the string is 168.17 newtons.